With the recent news of the Mayo vs Ketchup Splatfest having a second rerun in Splatoon 2 with the potential of even more Splatfest coming in the future, I did talk about that in a recent news roundup video but that definitely did take a lot of people by surprise but it's got a lot of people in the community asking two questions why are Nintendo bringing back Splatfest and what does it mean or what potentially it means for the Splatoon series a lot of people are coming up with a wide range of theories based on those two questions so I will be talking about them in this video but before I do that I just want to give my thoughts on those two questions myself and I did briefly touch on the first question at the end of a recent news roundup why are Nintendo bringing back Splatfest? I did say that maybe with the effect of everything happening in the world. Development of new games is quite hard. A lot of people have to work from home at the moment. So maybe Nintendo are seeing a lot of their dev teams struggle with creating new content. So what they are doing to fill out the schedule is doing stuff like the um, Splatoon 2 demo, the Mayo vs Ketchup Splatfest, the ARMS demo as well. Maybe Nintendo are doing those sort of things to fill out the schedule somewhat, but I think the most important reason and the main reason why I think we are getting Splatfest again, well one has been confirmed at the moment, I think we will get at least one more, I will talk about that in a few minutes time. but. I think what Nintendo want to do is to promote Splatoon 2 to the new audience that is on the Switch at the moment that aren't really familiar with the game. A lot of people are picking up a Switch all of the time and a lot of people do sort of pick up Mario Kart, Zelda, Mario Odyssey. But one of the other evergreen titles, Splatoon 2, seems to get overlooked by a mass sort of audience. And it does seem quite odd me saying that, seeing as Splatoon 2, at this time of recording, is close to hitting 10 million sales. But I kind of feel like when new people pick up a Switch, they go for Smash, they go for Animal Crossing and all of the games I did mention. They don't seem to pick up Splatoon 2 in big numbers compared to those two games so I think what Nintendo are doing is basically putting in this Splatfest to make the game appealing for a new audience to pick it up and I think it will prove to be a really successful sort of promotion sort of marketing idea more and more people picking up the switch all of the time that did miss out on Splatfest you know that is just a clever thing to do to try and get people to pick up the game so that is why I think Nintendo are bringing back the Mayo vs Ketchup Splatfest again a lot of people did miss out on not only that Splatfest but Splatfest in general a lot of people have picked up a Switch over the past year so yeah I kind of feel like this might mean that Splatoon 3 is a long way off and as a sort of stopgap between now and Splatoon 3 like what I did discuss in my last video I did say that I wanted Nintendo to do something in terms of content as a stopgap between now and Splatoon 3 I think what Nintendo are doing is I think they will bring back more Splatfest. I don't think they will do new Splatfest, but what I think they will do is pretty much rerun most of the Splatfest that were in the old rule set. So that pretty much goes from July 2017 or August 2017 to September 2018. So they could rerun all of those Splatfests over the next few years maybe it will not be every single month where we will be getting a Splatfest an old Splatfest I don't think we will see any new Splatfest topics but maybe once every three or four months we will get the cake versus ice cream Splatfest again or another Splatfest topic like front roll versus back roll in terms of toilet paper 
which did come out in the first year of Splatoon 2 existence. So maybe they will want to use those old Splatfest topics as a way to sort of fill in the gap between now and Splatoon 3. Also recently Nintendo did say that they will be updating Animal Crossing New Horizons for maybe two or three years. So based on how they do share the same dev teams Animal Crossing and Splatoon. I don't think we will be getting Splatoon 3 anytime soon. I think they will be using Splatfest in Splatoon 2, old Splatfest as a stopgap between now and when they are ready to announce Splatoon 3 and release it, which could be a long time away if they are planning to support Animal Crossing for that length of time. So that is my personal answer to the question, why is Nintendo bringing back Splatfest again? after last year doing the final Splatfest and yeah I know a lot of people do have different theories to myself a lot of people are saying that maybe Nintendo are preparing us for new Splatoon content a lot of people are pointing towards ARMS that did get some sort of promotion before it did get announced that pretty much there will be an ARMS character in the second fighter pass for Smash Brothers a lot of people are saying that maybe that is what Nintendo are doing here promoting Splatoon 2 again because there will be a character from the game in the second fighter pass for Smash Brothers and yeah that would definitely please me I'm not so sure about that but maybe that is what is happening maybe that is what Nintendo are doing right now they are promoting the game in preparation for a announcement that there will be a Nova Splatoon character in Smash Brothers. I don't know who they will pick. I did make a video talking about DJ Octavio for Smash. Maybe they will pick Agent 8 instead. Or maybe we will get Pearl and Marino as playable characters. That would definitely be really cool to see. A lot of people are saying that maybe this ties into Splatoon SOS and they are promoting like the Splatoon series in preparation for either Splatoon 3, a spin-off game or more DLC for Splatoon 2. So yeah, I guess at the moment we just don't know at, at all really. I guess it could be anything which I have discussed in this video. Maybe I could be right. Maybe everybody in the community is right. Maybe Nintendo are preparing us. They are promoting the game in preparation for new content, whatever that turns out to be. But I definitely am looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this in the comment section below. Why do you think Splatfests are coming back? Do you think it will mean anything for the Splatoon series in general? Do you think it will lead into anything like new content? or anything like that but yeah that's pretty much it this video by the way I do realize that I am talking about Splatoon 3 a lot in a short amount of time and I must apologize about that there will be another Splatoon 3 video coming out soon apologies these videos weren't really spaced out that well I should have really uploaded these videos like a little bit further apart because it is a little bit overload at the moment so I must apologize about that but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and yeah of course I will keep you guys up to date with any Splatoon news we do get so yeah that's pretty much it with this video I will see you in another video soon hopefully